Hello everyone, welcome to the channel for everything Arsenal and everything football. Thanks for being here. I hope you're all doing well and welcome to the predicted lineup for the North London Derby between Tottenham and Arsenal. Now, many Arsenal fans, if not all, are not looking forward to this game. If I speak for myself, I'll definitely say nope. I am not looking forward to this game, I can assure you of that. Um, the thought of being in their stadium again, their new stadium again, second visit there, the thought of their fans being back there just literally scares me. We have no midfield right now, their players are playing really well, both are midfield attacking, so we really need something special in this game. If you ask someone um, what your prediction for the game is, or what their prediction for the game is, most people will actually tell you, I need to see the lineup first. And I can't actually blame them because this is one of those games that, yes, uh, form and all that goes out of the window, but this lineup on that day, that is very crucial. Let's say, for example, Kane misses out, that gives us kind of an advantage, even though we still need to take advantage of it uh, after all. Let's say if we party starts for us, that makes a total difference for us. So that will be very, very important. So what kind of lineup will Atita go for? We just beat um, Rapid Vienna 4-0, I think, yeah, 4-1, four, four sorry. Just beat Rapid Vienna 4-1, so um, players are rested in that game, the likes of Aubameyang and Gabriel. Louis is still not sure about him. Pat is still not sure about his fitness. We have a couple of doubts. Pablo Mari will he come from now and start? We have to wait and see. So this is what I expect Atita to go for. In goal, of course, I'm expecting Leno to come back. Ronason did kind of well in the games he's played, but Leno has to be in goal. Um, I'm expecting him to stick with the back four, that just because we might not have Luis, otherwise we'd have gone back to a back five. So Bellerin, Tieni on the left, and then Gabriel and Mustafi. Yep, I know the name Mustafi scares you, but what was the reason for Mustafi going off the other day against Rapid Vienna, like around the 60th minute? For me, I actually feel like he's being rested in this game because holding hasn't really done well in the last few games and Luis is injured. Pablo Mari can really play 90 minutes, two days in like two games, uh, three days apart, I don't think so. So we could easily see Mustafi and Gabriel. And then in the middle, um, I'm expecting him to go with Shaka, Mohamed El Neni and Dani Sabasa midfield three. And then up front, it will be Saka on the left, William on the right and Aubameyang up front. Now, of course, things could look very different from this. We could have um, a back five instead of a back four. We could have party back out of nowhere to start this game. We could see holding instead of uh, Mustafi. We could have Aubameyang on the left, back to the left, and Lacazette up front. I actually wouldn't be surprised if he does that. William might not start. He might go for the likes of uh, Nelson again. Maybe even, you never know. So it's going to be interesting to see. But this is what I expect him to go for. And then on the bench, we'll have Ranason holding... Niles, Thomas Party fit, if not Nelson there, Willock, Lacazette and Ketia. As I said, in, everything can be different and this is not actually what my lineup would be. I'll have my lineup in my preview video on Saturday, make sure you watch out for that. And in case you haven't checked out my opposition preview with uh, Elena from Lily White, it was an amazing chat. I'll link it up in the YouTube card right now, make sure you check that out. And you can also head over to our channel to check the preview we did on our channel. Great insight on Tottenham, great insight on Arsenal. So let's wait and see. Let me know what you think about that lineup. Let me know. Do you think Atita will do anything different from that? Do you think he'll change the formation? Let me know all that. Thank you for watching. Keep staying safe and I'll catch up with you guys later.